Now that is a block, even a brick you could say, of electronic goodness. Hey, what's happening guys? Today I thought we'd take a look at this. This is just a box of assorted electronic components I got off of Amazon. It is called the HJ Garden Electronic Component Assortment Kit. And then there's a lot of words, you know, keywords after that. I'm not going to worry about it. But I just wanted to replenish some of my random parts and pieces. And I thought we'd give one of these cheap kits a, uh, a look. This is uh, $17 when I ordered it. Don't be surprised if it's more expensive if you go to order it. That seems to be the way things go. Anyway, this kit uh, claims to have 458 pieces. So let's have a look and see what's inside. Wish Amazon could get back to delivering things in a couple days instead of a couple weeks. All right, so first of all, we have male to female DuPont jumper wires. These are longer, about 8 inches. I was hoping they were about 4 inches. That's the size I really like. Got some LEDs. Don't worry, we're going to take a look at this stuff. Random components. Another breadboard power supply. Now, some of the reviewers have said that theirs had bent pins. These pins look relatively straight. Those are kind of canted a little bit. Take a good look there. You can see the angle between that. This is just typical, cheap, sloppy engineering. More jumper wires. So this is where you're getting your 458 pieces. And they're counting every single wire. They're probably counting every single little jumper here, too. That's a loose resistor that fell out of somewhere. Uh, breadboard. Some mail pins. I don't see any female pins. All right, let's start off by looking at resistor values they've given us. So one meg, that's good. 100K. There's a 10R. 5.1K. 220R, this is a good value for uh, LEDs when you're driving them at 5 volts. This is a good uh, current limiting value. 2K. 330 is another good value for LEDs at 5 volts. 10K. Very useful for pull-up resistors in your Arduino projects. 1K. Now this is what I use for most of my LEDs. It only drives them at maybe 10 milliamps, but that's plenty bright enough. And 100 ohms. I don't have much use for anything at 100 ohms, but it's nice that they're there. So we got breadboard jumpers. These are very useful. I use them all the time. I have, you know, many different boxes of them all over the place. They make just for a neat breadboard layout. And then we have these two rows of male header pins. I wish they would have included some females, but they didn't. Then we've got LEDs. Let me know these out. Okay, so you have 10 each of blue, white, red, yellow, and green. So you got 50 LEDs. Now, I was reading some of the reviews on Amazon, and folks have said that it doesn't give you any of the voltage information. So just in case you're new, and you don't know about different LEDs. I have a meter here set up in diode mode. And if we attach the LEDs long leg positive, short leg negative, this will tell you the voltage you need for each of them. Whoops. So the blue LED, oh, bumble fingers, I'm sorry, pardon me. Let's do it like this. The blue LED lights at 2.56. The clear LED is going to light about the same. Did 
Come on. Come on. Backwards. Two point six. The red should be about what one point eight. Yep. Yellow, somewhere a little over two. Yeah, one point eight, right about two. And the green. One point eight also. So there you go. If you're new to LEDs, those are the voltages you need to drive them. So if you're driving them from 5 volts, you need to find a resistor that will drop that voltage and keep everything copacetic. Next up, we have this little parts component, which other than the LEDs was really the reason I grabbed this. Always good to have little parts on hand, especially little tack switches because I use them all the time. I'm always looking for some, so that's good to have. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got a couple of LDRs, light-dependent resistors. They change their value depending on the amount of light. We've got five signal diodes, one thermistor, which changes its value depending on temperature. We have five small uh, electrolytic capacitors. These are... 10 microfarad, uh, yeah, 10 microfarad at 50 volt. Then we have some larger ones that are 100 microfarad at 50 volt. Then we have a selection of small ceramic capacitors, 22 picofarad and one microfarad. We have a shift register. We have a 4N35 octocoupler, 5 2N2222 uh, PNP or NPN transistors. We have one, what they're listing as a precision potentiometer, I just call it a trimmer. An RGB LED and two piezo buzzers. One is active and one is passive. This one here marked HYDZ is, is the active buzzer, which means all you need to do is give it five volts. And you'll get a tone. The other one, you actually have to apply a square wave to it. Then, of course, we have the breadboard, which really doesn't need any explanation. So that's everything you get in the pack for 17 bucks. Is it worth it? Well, yeah, you could hunt up all these components individually and maybe pay a couple dollars less, you know, ordering them from China, but you'd wait a couple months to get them probably. This is pretty easy, pretty convenient, and for 17 bucks, it is uh, it's worth it to me. So I'm pretty well happy with it. I will put a link to this down below where you can get it from my Amazon store if this interests you. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the Patreon link down below. Or check out Teespring where you can get t-shirts, mugs, stickers, and the limited edition resistor color code poster. When we reach 100,000 subscribers, that poster is gone and will never be offered again. That's it. I'm out. Peace.